Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. Man, it feels like it's been a long time since I've said that. And man, it feels like I've said that a few times, actually. I want to do an update video. That's what the premise of this is going to be. I'm filming this on auto mode on this Sony a7 IV. So it's probably a lot brighter in the background. Forgive the pencil in my hand. I'm quite fidgety. I've always been that way a little... A little bit of personal information I wanted to share with y'all. Hey, I know I haven't been here in a long time, and I know that the last time that I came back after not being here for a long time, I said that I was coming back to take the throne. Whoever was on the top, I was coming. I mean, I was going to try to take that again. And I've read comments, I've seen comments from time to time that say, oh, Joe said he was coming back for the top, but look at him. Choosing Joe Does Stuff over after prison show. A measly 4,000 views on Joe Does Stuff. Went over here on after prison show, he could be getting like 60,000 views. Well, that's not correct at all. In fact, uh, yeah, maybe, I, I, I don't know. Again, this is an update video. It's going to be very just off the cuff. And let me just start with that particular statement right there. Did I choose Joe Does Stuff over After Prison Show? And to a certain degree, I guess I did. I'm like a bad boyfriend, one that always cheats and always asks you to take me back. I've changed. Realistically, I really have, and I'll get to that a little bit further in this. Um, but you know, if I did choose Joe does stuff over after prison show, there is a good explanation for that. And one dogs are barking at somebody. Somebody must be, somebody must be in my back alley. Look one, I've been home for prison. I've been home from prison now for over eight years. You know, my life is so far separated from prison and To a certain degree, I felt like I didn't really have anything left to share in relation to after prison. But every day, my life is still and always will be after prison. You know, a perfect example of that is I'm so close to obtaining my Class A contractor's license right now. And, you know, like on a job application, they ask you, have you ever been convicted of a felony in the last five years? Well, for a contractor, they ask, have you ever been convicted of a felony in your entire lifetime? And no matter if you've gotten your rights restored or, you know, anything like that, aside from getting expunged, you have to go in front of the board and explain yourself. And they don't care about anything except for the past. So like I say, my life will always be after prison. And I can't never forget that, and sometimes I feel like I do. Another reason why I guess I wasn't uploading here on After Prison Show was the fact that I am tremendously busy with my painting and repairs business, which is going very well. I share that over on Joe Does Stuff. And another reason why I haven't been uploading here is, man, wasn't it always some drama? And God bless that I just... I just couldn't never get away from that. You know, every time that there would be drama, I would try to always explain it. Hey, look, it's not me, it's them. A lot of times I would say, and I'm being kind of facetious saying that because anytime that I would try to explain it, I would would always try to take some of the blame. I mean, especially if it was my fault. But there were some times when I would take the blame that I didn't necessarily necessarily believe that it was really my fault. I was taking the blame because I felt like it was my due diligence, my duty to take the blame. I didn't really believe that it was my fault. But I think I was disillusioned. I don't know if that's a real word. I think I was living in a fantasy world, maybe believing that. And like I had said, I feel like I've changed. I want to share with you guys something very personal. 
And I don't share this for any type of sympathy. I share this just being real with you. And recently, within the last two months, I went and saw a psychiatrist. Uh, I was asked to go see a psychiatrist by my family. Because, you know, I would get depressed from time to time. And, you know, I don't always, I'm not always depressed. I just would get into these low funks. And then I would have these times where I was just angry, pissed off at the world. And there would be no real good reason for that. I would get mad over the littlest things. I'm not good at dealing with people. And, you know, maybe that frustration would uh, spill over into relationships that I've had with people, especially people who have been on this channel. So long story short, I went and saw a psychiatrist a little more than two months ago or a, or a month and a half ago. I think it was a month and a half ago. And a psychiatrist is not a therapist. A psychiatrist is somebody who prescribes you medication. Usually you would want to go to a therapist first to get diagnosed with something, but I guess the psychiatrist can do that as well. <clears throat> and when I went and seen the psychiatrist, you know, they asked me, they said, so what's going on with you? And I began to spill my guts about everything and anything in relation to me. Felt like it was the first time I ever really could do that, even though in these videos I would try to do that. And this was like therapy for me as well. But ultimately, there were things that I wouldn't want to share in videos like my manic rage that could from time to time surface and my depressive nature. I could be in the worst depressive state and be filming videos here on After Prison Show trying to carry on a smile on the face. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, I'm going to share with you the top 10 reasons That I am the way that I am. Uh, that's not what this, just trying to use that as an example. I spilled my guts to the psychiatrist and after uh, doing so, I asked them, I say, you know, so what do you think is wrong with me? What do you think I have? And they said AIDS and I said, wait a minute, you're not a, <laughs> I'm trying to be funny about this, but this really isn't anything that I should be making jokes about. I said, what do you think is wrong with me? And they said, well, I think that you've got anger problems. They said, I think you're dealing with a lot of anxiety and you're manic. Now, I had no idea what manic meant, but, you know, I would believe that it meant that I just got on things like not drugs, but like just got on certain topics or ideas or thoughts and I would just go with those and just be so stuck on those things. An example is like me getting on Facebook Marketplace and saying, hey, I want to buy an RV. And all day, every day, all I do is think about RVs or a boat or a brand new Corvette, all of which I do not have. I don't share these saying, you know, anything like that. But these are just things that, you know, I want and they become so... So stuck in my mind. And sometimes I can't turn my mind off. And I believe that that's what manic was. So when they tell me these things that they think is wrong with me, they put me on medication. I'm now on Varelar. I can't sit up straight enough in this chair for it to not hurt my back. Sorry. Sorry. Let's see if we can adjust a little. Anyways, I feel like I look ridiculous, so sorry. Um, they put me on Varelar, and that, that's what I've been on for over a month in like two weeks, a month and a half, something like that. I went back to the psychiatrist just a week ago for my month, you know, for my checkup after a month, how's the Varelar working for you? And I said, well, I'm not sleeping very well at all. And 
I'm not mad. That's one good thing that I could say has come from this. They had me on 1.5 milligrams. I said, but I think my manicness has gotten a lot worse because now when I'm not sleeping, I'm up all night looking at Facebook Marketplace, RVs, boats, Corvettes. <laughs> and just random shit. Like I'll get, I'll go down rabbit holes of just Facebook Marketplace. Thank God it's not porn, right? I said, I'm not sleeping. I feel like my manic nature is a lot worse. And my anxiety, I think, is a tad bit higher now. But I'm not stressing or worrying about everything, anything. I just am so anxious and I can't turn my mind off. Well, you know, they ended up telling me, they said, okay, we're going to go ahead and bump up your medication. I'm like, why would you do that? They said, because you're bipolar and you're in a manic episode. Mind you, this just happened to me a week ago. And I'm like, what, what, do you, what do you mean I'm bipolar? Hold on, pump the brakes here. You never told me that. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, you told me I had anger issues, I was manic, <clears throat> and I was dealing with anxiety. And they were like, well, I'm sorry I didn't explain that well enough. But manicness is a, you know, an effect Of bipolar. Sorry, one of my guys was sending me a message with something broken, and I'm like, what was that? Please don't tell me that's in a unit. I think it's at a flip that he's working on. My God, text me back and tell me that's not in a unit. Oh, thank God. So, yeah, they told me I was uh, bipolar. They bumped up my medication and they even put me on some sleeping medicine, but I haven't been taking the sleeping medication. Ironically, what they put me on was Seroquel, a same medication that I had while I was in prison and I had like 14 100 milligram Seroquel pills. I don't know if you'll remember that story when I said that I was trying to, you know, hit the eject button, hit the escape button, hit the game over at one point. <clears throat> Very ironic that they put me on that medication and I would never take that medication in large reason because of all of what I just shared right there and what I've shared before here on After Prison Show in the past. I share this with you because, you know, there probably for a long time, definitely for a long time has been something wrong with me. And now I'm on some medication and I'm not trying to say, hey, I'm a better person. Of course, I want to be a better person. I don't want to be an angry person. I don't want to be not good dealing with people. And I want to be such a better person because of my son, who I try to be the greatest father in the world to. Update on my son, four months old now, loving life. You know, I get to interact with him every day. You know, me and my wife, we are doing amazing. We've got a beautiful family. And that was another reason why I fell back from after prison show. Because, you know, what was my son, what is my son going to think of me when he sees these videos? When he sees these videos of people trying to gain clout, trying to out me with blatant lies, a lot of which being, or you know, just offering their opinion on situations that I handle piss poorly and more power to them for doing that. When you put your entire life out there on the internet, hey, you got to expect and appreciate that that sort of stuff is going to come from it. But damn, I think about that a lot. Like, what's my son going to think? You know, not only was I gone from after prison show for such a long time, I was gone from Joe Does Stuff as well. And people were commenting on both channels saying all sorts of crazy things as to why I was gone. And some of those things were very horrible things. That I died. That my family died. Like my. Anyways, long as, look, I'm okay. My family is okay. And I'm back again. For the umpteenth time, I know. But wait, don't shut the door just yet. Okay, if you're going to shut the door, shut the door. But I'm here. And I can't guarantee how often I'm going to be here, but I want to be here. 
I came back recently on Joe Does Stuff, and I want to come back here as well if you'll allow me to do so. When I came back the last time here, I had the wrong dream. And I know that this is about to sound crazy, but this is just what it is. You know, I wanted to do what I felt like everybody wanted me to do, and I don't even know what that is. And maybe there's a large consensus of people who just want to see me go away. I'm no longer really thinking I'm coming for the top. And I, I got to explain that statement that I made the last time. I was really just kind of trolling saying that. I don't really think that I could retake the top. I mean, maybe I could if I was able to put forth enough effort into this and, you know, go back to sharing people's stories and introducing people. And I still want to kind of do that here. Now that I'm on the Varelar, maybe I'll be able to handle that a little bit better. But like I said, I felt like what I was coming back to do was to do what people really wanted me to do. You know... And I don't even know what that really is. So this time, I'm just going to do what I think I can do in an effort to be entertaining. The wig right there in the background, Joe Ross. List videos where I'm able to incorporate some humor into that, or at least try to. And do some more introductions to possibly help others who deserve an opportunity to have their voice heard and their face seen, an opportunity to be introduced to all of you, any of you who still take the time to watch these videos. As I'm saying these things to you, like here I am, I'm coming back and this is what I'm going to do. It does fill me with a little bit of anxiety because here I am committing to this. Again, I want to do that. I just hope that I'm able to maintain it. I got a shitload on my plate. I mean, I really do. The painting and repairs business is doing very well. I've got like seven guys now, three top guys. I'm doing really well. I mean, everybody I have is a top guy, three supervisor type individuals, and everybody's doing really well. I'm getting ready to go on vacation in a week. This week is my last week working. Before I'm gone for a week, I'm going to Florida. And I want to try to pump out some content before I go to be able to share with you guys, to show you guys that I'm I'm serious about coming back. I want to come back. I want to enjoy this again and make this fun again. Sometimes I put a lot of unattainable uh, expectations on myself, unrealistic expectations on myself that I'm just not able to fulfill. So as I say that I'm back, I need you to know that, you know, it might be like once a week that I'm back. Maybe it's twice a week if I get, you know, real lucky. I've missed all of you. I've missed this. I've missed those who really rock with After Prison Show and those who really don't. I get it. I understand my lot in life and my place here on the internet. I've been doing this for a very long time. It finally makes sense to me now. But anyways, that's that's about it in a nutshell. I was literally going to just come right back and jump into a Joe Ross video. The only reason I'm not doing it is because I don't have the paint. I wanted to paint it. I wanted to paint a caricature mugshot. And do it ASMR-like because I've got so many fucking microphones right now. I probably could really do it. Um, I want to do the things that I enjoy doing. And I don't care about the views. And see, I think that that was another thing that I got misconstrued for a long time. Was I was so focused on the views. Oh, well, this video is not getting enough views. And funny that the drama videos get all the views. But at this point, I don't have to worry about that. Like I'm actually working a real job, busting my ass every single day. Hey, if you care to learn more about that, I don't, I don't mean to make this selfless plug right here, but uh, Joe does stuff for more on that. 
But even if you don't rock with Joe Does Stuff, Joe, I hated to flip houses and I hate you're actually out there working like everyone else. If you hate all of that, trust me, there will be this here. You know, I, I tell people that from time to time. I say, you know, there was a time in my life when I could literally sit in a chair, film videos, and not have a care in the world. Could literally film a video, get done, edit that video, upload that video, and go play Madden. And didn't have a care in the world. That was my job. You know, I chose going back, working into, you know, working in the real world over this. And some might think that that's crazy, but I'm just a hardworking guy. Like, I know some are going to say, no, Joe, you're not. No, I really am. And I enjoy the hard work and I enjoy doing things with my hands. Building and doing stuff. Hence the whole Joe does stuff. But I love this too. I love to put on for all of you. And damn it, I'm back. And I'm going to do that again. I just hope that you'll have me. I've got my suitcase in tow. Hey, look, I should have never went anywhere. I was wrong. Will you let me back inside? No. Boom. I'm coming back anyway. I'm kidding. Home invasion is nothing to make jokes of. That's all I got, folks. Thanks for allowing me to share. Uh, And look, real quick, let me emphasize one final point. In terms of mental health, now that I know that I'm a basket case, I am about to be a major mental health advocate. If you feel like something's up with you, you might want to talk to somebody about that. It took me 40 years to decide to do so. Don't wait as long as I did. For reals. Hey, look, that's it. Gosh almighty, it feels good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, uh, the free world, uh, never take a moment for granted, could turn it into a wrap, and make the most of every day. Put this freaking pencil down. Peace!